Is the B-21 Raider an evolutionary improvement of the B-2 Spirit, or is it a completely new aircraft? The American company Northrop Grumman has shown a teaser announcement of its new B-21 Raider bomber and announced that the full announcement of this new generation of aircraft will take place on December 2nd at their Palmdale plant, with invitations to selected individuals. The company has defined this moment as historic, as the B-21 Raider is considered to be the most modern and advanced military aircraft being built today. But is it so? Let's take a look at why the Pentagon needs this new bomber. According to military plans, the B-21 Raider is expected to enter service around 2026-2027. However, one may wonder why not continue modernizing the B-2 Spirit. After all, this American stealthy heavy strategic bomber first took off in 1989, which means that the United States has not produced a new bomber in 33 years. It should be borne in mind that the B-52, which is already 50 years old, remains in service with the Pentagon and is planned to be used for decades to come. So why is a new strategic bomber needed now? Let's look at this problem together. Strategic bombers are part of the nuclear triad, which is one of the three key components of strategic deterrence along with land-based nuclear missiles and nuclear submarines. It is worth noting, however, that only the United States has bombers with stealth technology. In contrast, Russia has the Tu-160, which is considered its most advanced strategic bomber, but this aircraft first flew 35 years ago in 1987 and is not equipped with stealth technology. China's strategic bomber, the CNH-6, is a modification of the Soviet Tu-16, which was designed in 1952. It is planned that China will start operating the CNH-20, a flying wing aircraft with stealth technology, only in 2025, and it will actually be an analog of the B-2 Spirit. Why did the Pentagon decide to get a brand new aircraft instead of modernizing the B-2 Spirit? This question is relevant because, in March 2012, the Pentagon announced the start of a 10-year, $2 billion modernization program for the B-2 fleet. The main focus of this modernization was to replace outdated avionics and equipment. The program was scheduled to be completed this year. Unfortunately, the stale modernization of the B-2 Spirit has led to certain limitations. However, according to Colonel Keith Butler, commander of the 509th Task Force in 2021, the B-2's expanded strike capabilities have increased its viability beyond fighter escort. Even though this platform has been around for more than 30 years, the military believes that it still has plenty of life left in it until the B-21 comes along and takes over. However, as mentioned above, an entirely new aircraft is planned to be commissioned in 2627. The plans for it are impressive in their scale. According to the published schedule, after the first production B-21s arrive in the U.S. Air Force after 2026-27, the first squadron is expected to be established and reach initial combat readiness by the early 1930s. In total, it is planned to produce an impressive number of these bombers, from 140 to 145 units. This is significantly higher than the current number of B-1Bs, 45 units, B-2s, 20 units, and B-52Hs, 58 units, for a total of 123 units. The technical characteristics of the B-21 are still little known. Judging from the teaser from Northrop Grumman, we can assume that the new aircraft will be very similar to the B-2 and will have a flying wing design. It is also known that the aircraft will be available in two versions, with a pilot on board and unmanned. This may already indicate signs of a sixth-generation aircraft. Unfortunately, there is some confusion about whether it will be a fifth or sixth-generation aircraft. U.S. Secretary of the Air Force Deborah Lee James has suggested that the B-21 Raider is a fifth-generation global precision strike platform that will allow the U.S. to conduct networked sensor-based fire and hold targets at risk. However, according to Tom Jones, Corporate Vice President and President of Northrop Grumman Aeronautic Systems, the B-21 Raider is a sixth-generation aircraft optimized for operations in extremely difficult conditions. Therefore, it remains uncertain what generation the B-21 Raider really belongs to. If we consider the B-21 Raider as a fifth-generation aircraft, its development program resembles the situation with the F-35 fighter program. The United States already had an excellent fifth-generation fighter, the F-22, but because of the high cost of its production and maintenance, 
it decided to create another fighter, also of the fifth generation, but with a more affordable cost. This is how the F-35 was born. Perhaps the military is not satisfied with the B-2 because it is extremely expensive, even for the United States. Indeed, the B-2 Spirit is considered the most expensive aircraft. The cost of one copy, including equipment, is $2,100,300,000. And the cost of one flight hour of operation is $149,000. Thus, when two B-2s attacked an ISIS training camp 19 miles southwest of Sirte, Libya, on January 18, 2017, killing about 85 militants, it cost American taxpayers almost $5 million. This does not even include the cost of guided bombs and air refueling, as each B-2 made a 33-hour round trip from Whiteman Air Force Base, Missouri, and refueled five times during the flight. On the other hand, the cost of the B-21, according to the Pentagon's announcement, should remain within the range of $500 million. Several clues indirectly point to a possible upgrade of the B-2 to the B-21. First, there is the extremely shortened development schedule. In October 2015, a development contract was signed with Northrop Grumman, and the aircraft is expected to enter service by 2026-2027. Secondly, on January 30, 2020, the U.S. Air Force and Northrop Grumman published a draft of the main landing gear in the form of a two-wheeled version. This may hint that the aircraft will be more compact and lighter than the B-2, just as the F-35 is lighter than the F-22. Finally, the similarity of the indices may also indicate a deep modernization of the B-2 to the B-21. For example, perhaps the 21 indicates the first major modification of the B-2. But it should be noted that Air Force Secretary Deborah Lee James has previously explained that the 21 in the B-21 index means that it is the first bomber of the 21st century, not just a modernization of the B-2. So will the B-21 Raider be a fifth or sixth generation aircraft? It seems that this will be the result of a deep modernization of the B-2, which will allow the new bomber to obtain some of the characteristics of the sixth generation aircraft. In particular, this will include the ability to control several drones and conduct network-centered operations when information for decision-making will automatically come on board the bomber from its subordinate drones, other aircraft, and weapons. An unmanned version of the aircraft will also be created. The new model will definitely correct the shortcomings of the B-2 Spirit, which is a pure bomber and cannot use missiles. A modern country cannot afford such a narrow specialization. Even a strategic aircraft must be able to not only drop bombs, but also attack targets with missiles and act as a fighter, destroying enemy aircraft. Undoubtedly, radar jamming resistance will continue to improve. Technology has evolved considerably over these long 30 years, and air defense radars have not been left out of this process. However, information indicates that the Air Force is planning to procure a new long-range fighter known as the Penetrator Counter Air to accompany the B-21 Raider on missions deep into enemy territory. The new fighter, about which we know very little, is designed to help the bomber overcome enemy air defenses. In other words, the military realizes that the reliability of the aircraft's stealth is not the only aspect. By the way, a similar concept also exists in the B-2 called Spirit, which means invisible, but there are discussions that Russian or Chinese radars can still detect it. Therefore, there is a need to escort it with F-35 fighters. In this case, the logistics of the operation become much more complicated, as the F-35 has a limited range without refueling only 620 miles compared to the B-2's 3,300 miles. So, let's see what the B-21 Raider ends up being, whether it will be a deep modernization of the B-2 or a completely new aircraft. We will also have the opportunity to compare it with Russia's stealth strategic bomber, currently codenamed Product 80 and scheduled to enter service in 2027. What is your assessment of the B-21 Raider strategic bomber program? Will it be the next step in the development of aircraft construction or just an improvement of what already exists? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up so that more people can watch it. And please subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos about modern weapons.